Hello YouTubers! Um... Well today, we're going to learn how to make a origami rabbit. Okay, first we're going to make sure that there's a fold right down the middle here. And we're going to do that by matching this point to that point, like that, symmetrically. Okay, if we haven't done so already, just watch and follow along. And then now, we're just going to take this corner, okay, and then have this edge right here match up to the middle like that as far as it, as it can go just like that see okay and we do the same for the opposite side we do take this corner have this side match the middle line or middle fold right there okay we now have kind of a bouquet kind of looking thing and now next you see this line right here? We're going to fold this top triangle portion down all the way it can. And the fold will be that line right there. Just like that. Okay? And the next move is basically your choice about how far you want to fold this. Um, it doesn't really matter because I've folded up all the way up to here. You can fold it up all the way up to there or up to here here. As long as this part somewhat comes out, it doesn't matter. And so, okay, do that. Okay, so this portion is going to act as our tail. So when you move this up, take that into account. If you want a rabbit with a big tail, like that, then move it up more. If you want a shorter tail, then just do that. Okay? The next move is going to be folding this part right here. So we're going to move this down and then fold it just like that so that it ends up folding symmetrically just like that. Okay. And next we're going to fold this much like that. Now this is also another one of those instances when you can just pick and choose how far you want to go up because these right here, this portion, is going to serve as the rabbit's ears. So you can move this up that much if you want a rabbit with humongous ears or you can move it this much if you really want a demented rabbit but then again, that's... oh well, it's a demented rabbit. Eh, whatever. Of course, you know, this means war! Okay. So now, fold this back up like that, and then once you have that done, you're going to get a pair of scissors. Ta-da! Okay. And now, open this back up, and you're going to cut, making sure that you don't cut anything else but this middle line right here, up all the way up to where the two folds here meet. So, go ahead and do that. Okay. And then fold this back like that, symmetrically. And then pull this up. Just one of these, because now they're going to be two since you cut them. Like that. And then go to the other side and then fold it back up like that. And then, ta-da! We have a rabbit. Now, if you want a sloppy-eared one, then you can just estimate and kind of fold down like that. And then you can have something that looks like this. See? <laughs> okay, that's not what a rabbit sounds like, but I tried. So, make more of these for friends, families, and astonish them, and then have fun. That's it. 
I speak softly, but I carry a big stick!